We are also learning more about some of the survivors, many of them still in grave condition this afternoon, including a local elderly couple, parents to six children, grandparents to 15. Their family sat down with KTSM 9 News anchor Sandra Ramirez. We don't know what's going to happen, but we're just praying for a miracle. Daisy Fuentes is holding on to every bit of hope. Her grandparents, Juan and Nicolasa Velasquez, are two of the 26 people who were injured in Saturday's shooting at the Sierra Vista Walmart. Juan Velasquez undergoing two surgeries at Del Sol Medical Center after his granddaughter says a bullet went through the side of his stomach, damaging his kidneys and intestines. We all just panicked. We were scared. We were crying. We didn't know what to do. Fuentes joining her mother and uncle on the first flight from Denver to El Paso on Saturday, all of them in complete disbelief. That's their Walmart. That's the one where they go every every time they go. When they pulled up, this lady was waving at them like, hey, don't go in there. The couple's son, Alvaro Mena, telling me his parents never even made it out of the car. They parked and they couldn't even get out the car and they got shot. Mena says his mother couldn't get through to 911, but was able to call her daughter. So they had already been shot when my grandma called my mom. And they were just crying, just telling us that it hurt, like where they shot him at, it hurt. This family telling us the elderly woman is stable, but recovering covering from gunshot wounds to the stomach and face. This family and now our entire community pulling for them to make a full recovery. Reporting in East El Paso, I'm Sandra Ramirez, KTSM 9 News. And just into our newsroom, Del Sol Medical Center.